Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're playing <coughs> UWO again and finishing off uh, the next chapter of our Let's Play. Um, we are going to log into the guy that we started with you guys. If you remember, his name is Gonzo Rivera. So Gonzo, last we left off was that he was at sea, going to sail back to Seville. So off camera, that's pretty much all I did. Um, was sailed back to Seville while uh, while I had a few. I, I I really just that's all I pretty much did was just sail from there, came back while I had some fish on me, sold the fish. Realized that getting money in this game early on is really a tragedy. Like you're not going to make very much money, and so it doesn't hurt to ask a person in world for a little bit of money. So that's exactly what I did. I asked one of my mains <laughs> on another uh, account to trade over some money. So I gave myself a little bit of cash. You see I have a hundred thousand and I put quite a lot into the bank so at least it's always there so it won't become an issue later on for us as I uh, might need to make some purchases for things. But anyways, so I entered this uh, Seville again and as I entered Seville I got a prompt um, that was part of the story uh, that you play in Spain. Now there's stories in each of the nations. Spain has a story that's centered around Balthazar and Hayreddin, um, and you could watch that story, you could participate in the story. If you want to know where all of that is, you go to your event history tab, as you saw that I did, and you will see that the, there are these different um, chapters, and you will unlock the chapters as you go. And the chapters themselves are self-explanatory as you read them. Everything will be pretty much as you were sitting through them. Uh, the voice, the, there's no voice acting, it's just all text, so you, if you really don't like this part of the game, you can really leave it behind. It's my personal um, uh, thing to just do it the one time for my one character. It's good to do if you want to get some rewards, too, in the end. Um, also, if you want to get a little bit of fame and other things to go, so it doesn't hurt to do it, but right now it's not our focus. Um, there are uh, websites that can show you how to do the entire plot. Um, I used, uh, I just used Google and typed in UWO event quests for Spain. And then there was a chapter by chapter explanation how to do it. You might get hung up on a couple of things from here and there, but um, somebody somewhere should be able to help you out that's known how to do it. Um, it's, I you know, everybody who does it does it once doesn't really do it ever all that often so they don't remember everything but they're very helpful so anyways just to show you a little piece of this um, they told me that I needed to go to the castle in Spain in Seville here so I did that I clicked the castle on the bottom right and I walked all the way to it and here's Balthazar waiting for me to continue the story so I just double click him like everybody else that I want to speak to and you know I'm just gonna click right through all this they pretty much just take you through the story it doesn't hurt to do this because um, you will get um, notoriety as you go and earn fame. So you could spend all the time you want on this process. Um, I just do the clicking and get through it. Um, and if anytime that you're in these quests, you don't know who to talk to, just click in people until you get these pictures to show you that you're actually conversing in a, a part of the conversation that's going to progress the story. Select any of the options. It doesn't matter what options you choose. No matter what. <clears throat> it'll progress the story unless if it's one of those ones where it says you know do you have any questions then you can ask all the questions you want or you can ask none I prefer to move on so I don't ask any questions um, so we're just gonna finish this off hopefully this doesn't take us too long um, alright so he still has the exclamation point over his head so that means I can still talk to him which I will Puka Falvo is gonna tell me something and he says I'm finished you may leave oh okay well then pay attention to what they're saying because that pretty much signs seals and delivers what you gotta do and we're done, I think. Well, maybe. We'll see. As we play through the game, if we get more, uh, you know, event history quests popping up on us, that's what we will do. Um, all right, so long story short, we will do that if it comes in, it's important to us, but otherwise we will ignore it. So let's transport ourselves back to the port um, because we haven't done anything here that we want to do um, just yet. Um, I still have this little boat. I've got a little bit of experience. Let's take a look at my character information. Um, I got five adventure levels and three trade levels. Now, when we played the game last time, I had a 100 experience boost, 100 times experience boost going on that I took advantage of. So, this week doesn't, it's not in effect. It doesn't start until next weekend. Um, so, because of that, 
Um, I could do some major questing to really bonus myself here. Um, but I, I sometimes like to save a lot of that questing for those weekends. So if you're somebody who's on a tight, um, tight time scale and you want to be able to make it worth your while to play the game so that you earn the most experience for the time that you invest, wait for every other two weeks to play Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, to get the double XP period. Otherwise, there are some things that you could do to really boost your um, speed in this game so that you can level faster. Now, I'm not going to do this in the long run, but I want to show you a little trick. If you know you need some trade level skills, the fastest way to do that is to buy these spices here. Now you're going to need some money to do that. Um, these people tend to, set, tend to set up quite often here with these spices from the East Asia, Southeast Asia area. And you would buy a good chunk of these, as much as that your money can provide you. And they are expensive. This person selling them for 32000 a piece. So you can see I would only be able to buy like three or four of these at the most. And this person has 1600 on them. So I'm not going to be able to buy the lot, but I will be able to buy a handful if I wanted to. But the reason why I suggest doing this is because when you buy them, so I bought two of them for 64000 and I sell them right to the guy here, I can get 20000 back. So I lose 10000 on the deal. That's not a good deal. However, it is a really good investment to do this because the 10000 that you lose is, you know, going to boost you quite a lot. And I'll show you right now as I hit OK. Boom. So, according to selling these trade goods, I have completed a mission. I received more uh, more for getting uh, 10,000 ducats from a profit, so that's a good thing. But I also earned some, back here in the, in the chat log, you'll see I earned 110 trade uh, experience. And I also earned 10 trade fame. And that's something that's going to uh, keep on going down as you level up, but it is a good way to get trade experience really quickly. And trade fame as well. Now 110 experience in this case didn't, you know, blow me out of the water here. It got me close to leveling up another level here, but it didn't, you know, do it right away. So that's why you gotta buy a small handful of this. Now, these trade goods are better than buying, uh, you know, your regular trade goods that you have on you. You know, that you can get around this, the area that we live in here, so which in Spain is the Mediterranean. It'll get you more trade experience than doing the regular fish and other things. So this is important if you really want to level quickly. And here I'm going to do it again, and boom, now I've reached the next level with it. I reached level, oops, wrong box. I reached level 4, I believe. There you go. So I reached level 4. And that's kind of the benefit of this, is that you can level really quickly. Um, and I only need 170 more experience uh, to do that, and that's quite easy to do. Um, people call it cheating. I don't consider it cheating. I consider it um, the reason why these people are here. They're here to help you level quicker. And the quicker you level, the more ships you could use, the faster you can move on to other stages of the game. So that's just a portion of the game that you could avoid if you want to do the, you know, completely the, the regular pathway by doing the leveling through the quests uh, that we're going to be doing. Or you could focus on this to just kind of like boost your situation faster. It's really, really up to you. So, so now that I've talked a mile a minute for showing you what I consider to be the fastest way to level trade, I'm going to sail myself back to, um, uh, before I do that I'm going to stop at the bank, I'm going to sail myself back to Sager's and I'm going to take on another quest. Um, and the reason why I'm going to do this going back to the bank is because I want to have a, a quite a bit more ducats on me so that I have the ability to keep on buying and using um, uh, goods and stuff to keep me at, at this on, on the ocean longer um, it just it doesn't it's not fun when you have to constantly keep on refilling your bank so I make it in the habit of uh, making sure that I have quite a chunk on me so as you can see here I have 699 million uh, in there I'm not gonna take that whole lot out I'll just take a good chunk out for now and then also I can get insurance it's going to cover a certain amount my insurance is going to cover 145,000 it's not everything that I have on me but it'll reimburse me just a little bit in case I were to get plundered but it is good uh, to oh, wow this guy's got nut mega mace for even cheaper so like be on lookout for places to get your spices cheaper because people are constantly trying to undercut people all the time 
All right, so long story short, let's get back to Sagers. Oh, and another thing I did while I was gone, I took one of my accounts and I uh, made some food and gave my character some food because getting food in this game is a pain in the butt if you're not already a cook. I mean, that's going to be my goal with this character to show you some of the cooking because I know how to do the cooking uh, quest line and I've already got some of the quest lines for that. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, you know, get some extra food on me just in case so that I have that stuff with me. So I don't have to keep on stopping it and buying some of the tavern. But this reminds me, speaking of food, I'm going to buy some wheat. Oh, I can't buy that much. I keep forgetting I'm not in my regular tune here. Um, let's buy 23 of these. No, I could do math. Well, I don't want to buy all of them because I want to be able to turn them into wheat. Uh, this is something I'm going to be doing from time to time, which is using my simple recipes book uh, to turn the wheat into flour until I hit rank three. Yeah, rank three of cooking because I need to make pigs. And once I get to unlock to pigs, then I'm really like, you know, getting into motion with the cooking situation. So this is just a little bit of a, this is a mini grind that you uh, might want to do uh, earlier rather than later so that you can get right to making your food uh, situation a little bit better. Let's see. I'm going to run out of food myself in a second. It's just a process and it, it's a grindy game but it's easy to do. It's not hard. I'm just going to keep on using the items. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick here too and this is something that I didn't learn right away. So you know how I hit use item in the corner each time then click the food and then click OK? I'm going to show you a shortcuts. It's called custom slots. In the custom slots you have these little numbers here that indicate uh, you can put skills and any of these other things here in here for you to use without having to open up several windows. It's kind of like a hotkey bar, but not quite hotkeys. You can link these to things if you want to do, like key bindings. But in the very least, I like to put them in places where I can, things that will use more frequently. So I know I use the food often, so I'll put my two foods things there. And that's pretty much all I really use right now. I don't use anything else um, in the moment. Um, I don't know why I even have these things here, but the only other things I really use would be the cooking recipe books, preservation books, and just have these ready to go. Because you'll see here there's a custom slot button just above the use item and the use skill button. The custom slots button opens up this, and now I can hit the corresponding number on my t on my bar right above the QWERTY keyboard and just hit the button and I'll eat the food or I'll open the book. So I'll hit two, boom books open. Now I know what to do right away. Whole lot easier for all your skills. Get in the habit of doing that because you are going to want to. So eating food, oop, I wasted food, but eating food is the same way. Let's open up the simple recipes and we'll just continue to do my wheat situation. Boom. More food is needed. And repeat. Much faster now that I can make food this way that I was doing it before, having to click use and all that stuff. All right, we made some money. Now, let's just get an idea of where our cooking skill is so we know how much more we have to do. So we're not quite at cooking two yet. There are items you can get that will boost your cooking. Um, you're, we're not there yet, but they are. Um, there are items that will boost cooking, there are items that will boost caution, surveying, all these skills. Um, and you wanna, you'll want to get them if that's what you're focusing. But right now, we won't consider ourselves in the need for that. We're just going to get our butts. Oh, you know what? And here's the thing I keep forgetting. Once you buy a set of items from the uh, for the market keeper, it's gone. Like, it'll say zero. Well, if you actually can fit it all in your, in your cargo. But it'll say zero. And the reason why it does that is because you'll have to leave and come back to get more of the item. It it won't let you do that unless you leave, go to another city, enter the city, actually walk around in the city, and then return. Um, there are items that allow you to reset these numbers every so often. 
um, or whenever you use an item and those items are highly sought after they're called purchase orders and you'll see on the blue bars above people's heads PO123 and they reset a certain trade good type each time that they're used and people use them often so that they can get um, as much of the item as possible so here we are going to use the same thing again mill up our wheat and we're out of space again this is why having cargo space is such a big deal because if you have the cargo space you will be able to do these all in one go alright good we just hit rank 2 in cooking so that's a start which means that it's going to be a relatively fast process if you could buy enough of this and carry enough of this on you um, I mean that is the real the real limiting factor here is that you just don't have the space to make as much flour as you'd want in your inventory right now so it, it that is my biggest issue right now is not having the space so some people would you know quickly buy up all these spices oh look he's in 29k spice I'm such an idiot but a lot of people would buy up these spices do what they gotta do to get their trade level high enough and then buy a ship uh, that has a larger cargo hold to be able to um, carry more which reminds me I want to see here look at that perfect thing to talk about purchase orders I just got a purchase order for doing uh, 10,000 ducats in profit from trading and that purchase order resets food seasoning livestock medicine and sundries oh this is perfect I think this will work for me we'll take it now this people will probably cringe at the fact that I'm using this right now but I could use an item and use the purchase order and this will reset any food, seasoning, livestock, medicine, or sundries. So, of these things in here, it would reset wheat. And that's it. And that would probably kill people who play this game <laughs> if I were to use this purchase order to buy more wheat. Um, hoard these things if you are somebody who wants to use them or sell them, whatever you want to do. Do not use them to buy wheat. Use them to buy something in which that you know you need to buy more of in order to either make money or increase your skill or whatever the case may be and you don't have the time to sail from one other place to another to come back to do this because um, you know it's not much of a stress to have to go from Seville to Pharaoh and back to Seville again just so I can reset the wheat besides Sagers has wheat right now too so I can go to Sagers get wheat come back to Seville get wheat go back to Sagers get wheat and just really all I have to do is wait the few minutes it takes me to sail back and forth between those two places so just want to see if this guy really truly does have stuff I bought. Yep, for 3,000 less, so I could have bought. Not that I could have bought a lot more, but you can see that there are people here that are offering cheaper stuff. You could buy salary, you could buy other things, whatever you got the room for. Salaries from Japan and, and other places, and they'll get you even more of your um, experience for selling. So it doesn't hurt to um, to do the other goods if you want. All right, so let's buy the last of the wheat that we could fit. Could I fit it all? I probably could. Yeah, then I have no room to make anything. This is really annoying. I'm sorry to make you guys all sit through this, but it's what's necessary to show you how it's done. Nope, I'm here I am using the wrong tab. Just because I'm trying to make the use of this. Now, you can also get a skill later on called management and when you're doing management skills you'll need to be able to do production skills like this but while at sea we'll talk more about that when you get there look at that I was able to do the entire batch of 15 alright we'll have to buy more food or use more food we'll buy the rest of his wheat and we will make the rest of the wheat such a process but this is what this game's all about literally grinding until you have the skills that you you get to like you need to do this this is just the how the game works and it makes for a very difficult um, a difficult grind and time-consuming grind and I enjoy it not many people do but I, I do um, those people who get in this game might not enjoy it because they're not used to games taking this kind of effort in order to really get anywhere um, but I, I love the sound of just doing this Click, 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 and cha-ching.
just a good sound, and it like keeps bringing me back. It's like World of Warcraft. Whenever you level up and you hear that, da -da, this is what I get excited for: the sound of money. All right, so cargo. We have emptied our hold. We are going to look at our skills. We're going to see what our cooking is at. 57 out of 800. That goes up each and every time that you level up. So you get exponentially higher when you're at like rank 10. Um, but right now at rank 2, 800 is that uh, sail handling because it's a favored skill. If you see this little yellow dot, that means it's a favored skill. And that favored skill will be cut in half from 800 to 400 and then so on and so forth. Which reminds me, if I was going to do all this cooking, I might have wanted to be in a cooking job while doing this because anything that I would have done would have gotten me closer um, to the level. So just a heads up, if before you do these things, and this is something I didn't learn until much later, and for the sake of the video I'm not paying attention to all these little details, but when you're going to be cooking, be in a profession in which that the cooking itself is a favorite skill. Um, and that's not hard to do. You need to go to a guild, and Merchant Guild is the one where you'll get trade skills. Uh, you get trading jobs. You go to the Merchant Guild. You go to the GM, who's in the back of the whole building. And he will have what you need to change jobs. He'll have the tab that'll say Change Jobs. Right there. And then he'll give you a little open window to do so. Now, I don't have any letters of endorsement to do so. You'll get letters of endorsement as you play through the... Uh, quest lines and right now since I'm an adventurer I kind of have to do just the adventurer quest line uh, in order to get uh, a finish with that so it's kind of like what I'm going to focus in this round I believe is just kind of to focus on those quests and continue to do that um, as we level up now I'm not going to show you every quest um, I'm going to stop in place each time that I need to go to a exam because those exams are important. Ah, so here we go. So now that I'm attempting to leave, it's got the little exclamation point, which means I'm starting to do the Avenger quest again, the event quests. This is all part of that. And it says, oh, I've been summoned by the Royal Castle. So you could go to the Royal Castle now, you can go later. I'm just going to go now. I'll hit square, because the square, I believe, is the closest thing to the castle. And I'll go right to the Royal Castle. And, and this is going to happen periodically throughout the game. They're going to say, you've been summoned by the castle. Go, Please go there and get your... Uh, your rank or get your fame uh, boost or get your title whatever it might be so um, right now I don't know that's what I'm gonna result in here I don't remember exactly what comes next but yeah you just go to the guard you click on him and you go inside and talk to the cardinal oh actually never mind he does it for you I hereby notify that you've been granted the port permit to the West Mediterranean ba -ba! and there you go and it's important to do this if you don't you won't unlock these port uh, permits. That's why I suggest doing the event quests, and someone will probably tell me, oh, you have to do them if you want to get all the ports. I, I don't know. Honestly, I just, I did it, and I did get a lot of ports while I doing while doing it, so just do it, and you'll unlock a lot more port permits doing it. And we just unlocked another port permit for the rest of this, and you can see here it all opened up. We have all these other cities we can go see now. Um, Genoa, Pisa, Marseille, Montpellier, Barcelona, Palma, Valencia, and I believe these other ones were not there before. But you get the idea. And then the reason why they're browned out like this is because we haven't been there yet. And when you go there, you unlock them, you get the uh, discovery cards as we've learned before. Alright, back to the port. Let's see if we can get to Sagers now so I can show you another quest. Alright, provisions, we are all set to go for 16 days, that is more than enough time. Now, I don't know if you saw what I did earlier, but I'm getting sidetracked as I'm doing this. If you noticed earlier, I clicked on there is, the port guide, and I clicked this tow request button, or is about to. The tow request button gives you these things called tow permits you can buy 10 of them for 30,000 and sometimes you could buy a few more for roughly the same price but you get roughly 10 of them for 30,000 at um, a port uh, per, uh, port guide and what these do and I like to buy these just because you only get them once a day I like to get them because what they allow me to do is that when you go to port you can click set sail and instead of saying set sail here you can click auto navigation 
and auto navigation allows you to click on any of the other cities at which you've already been to so long as it's within range and you have enough tow permits to do so like this one requires one tow permit to go to Lisbon one permit to go to Faro and one permit to go to Sagers you know it helps you be able to do these things without having to physically sail them yourself you don't actually have to click the buttons to turn if you notice my ship will just start sailing I don't need to do anything. Now, this isn't faster than sailing there yourself. You're limited by whatever the path, auto pathing is and the size of your ship. Um, I don't know if it's like generally faster, you know, in every case when you, you know, have a faster ship to just sail to something directly, but these are generally not the best paths and that you take to these places. But if you're like me, you like to put the game on hold for a second, walk away, go get a drink, you know, take a sip of something, talk to your your wife or your or your best friend or something. This is a good chance for you to do so. I can walk away right now, and my boat will sail there automatically. Um, but which reminds me, I want to activate my skills at the very least before I go, because if I don't, I'm not going to level these up. These are, you know, going to level up as they're getting used. So I'm trying to do that as I go. Uh, you still these still are still active, even though I'm not physically clicking the button to make my boat sail. And while I'm in this auto sailing thing, I can't, I'm clicking, and I can't turn. The boat is auto pathing, I cannot control it. If I want to stop doing it, I have to click here on the bottom right of the page where it says cancel auto navigation. There's a little red line in a circle here. It says cancel, cancel auto navigation, and that allows it to stop completely. And I can then resume manual sailing. You can ignore all these buttons here. Back in the day, you used to actually have to turn your sail to the headwinds and everything just to know how to perfectly sail your ship to the locations you want to go with the best headwinds the best sail position it was annoying had a little bit of you know bonus feature but for somebody who like me when I got started hated it hated it because sail handling was super important sail handling used to be an active skill it used to be an active skill that you'd have to click and actually it would put your sails in the right position for you automatically every time and it would stay active only for as long as the skill was high enough rank for so you can imagine how many times you'd be clicking it when you're trying to sail back and forth through places you'd run out of this vigor very quickly during the low levels and early on I knew nothing about sail handling luckily now it's all passive it just puts the sails in the right position for you you don't need to do any of that it does it automatically thank goodness for that that would have just been miserable having to show you guys how to turn your, you know, sails a certain way in order to get the fastest uh, pathing to places. This is a beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. That's one of the reasons why this game brought me in. Seeing other people with these beautiful ships. Alright, so we have made land in Sagers. We're going to go to the harbor. I'm wondering, do I have any other ships? Just curious. Ship information. Ship inventory. No, I don't have any other ships, but it has an only a requirement of adventure level one. If you have the chance to buy a ship from somebody and you want to have a better ship right this minute, you could go right to where is he? I'm just curious. You can go to the shipyard master. And he buys and sells ships. And here you'll see that he'll have ships that are worth the some some number of ducats but have either more or less um, cargo space. It's really a preference. Here's a cog, here's a caravel, which I have the levels for. And maybe just for the sake of showing you guys, you know, it's not a huge waste of any money here to do this. Like I said, you will earn boats as you go through those challenge missions and as you do these uh, quests in Sagers. But this is a good way to get um, cheap ships to start that increase your ability to sail faster and other things. I've never used these ships, but they have a lot of cargo space, and that is why the people like them. Um, and I can't sell any others except for the Galliot. So, might be a little slow, but let's just do it. I would like to have... Is there anything better with more cargo space, though? No. So, better yet, more reason to do the Galliot. Even though I'm really close to probably being able to do something with even more space, but why not just go with this? We'll buy the ship. Now if you want to change the ship, you also need to talk to the shipyard master. So we'll change the ship. We'll click Galliot. Say okay. 
now we've changed ships. Now there's only one issue that we're having here is that we do not have enough sailors so we'll have to go hire some sailors um, to put uh, into the slots because otherwise we won't sail at our best speed. Um, and then also ship parts. If you have any ship parts you want to attach to this boat you have to take off the other boat if they're already on that other boat. So in this case it's these cannons, this iron plating if I want to put iron plating on it, and this dragon. Iron plating as you can see drops your ship speed. At this stage in the game you're not going to need this stuff. So if you have it, be my guest, go ahead and sell it. Just not going to need it. Um, it's not worth all that much right now for you to keep. So I'm just going to go right to somebody that buys this stuff and see if I can sell it. Sell ship parts. Boom. Just make the money for it. Um, and you could buy things from each of these guys. Like You could buy s different sales that increase your horizontal and, ver and vertical sales. At this stage of the game, again, none of this really matters all that much. It's such a low level, but if you want to have, you know, the best sales that you could possibly get, there are people that have better sales. Um, I just, you know, I, I don't know which ones to buy this early on. Some people will say buy vertical sales, don't buy horizontal sales because you do a lot of sailing in the Mediterranean, and vertical sales tend to do better in the Mediterranean area versus the ocean. So I'm just going to buy, and they're higher value here, anyways. I'm just going to buy and equip one of these to my sale slot. Now I knew to only buy one because they only had one slot available on the ship so that's all I'm going to put there and apply. Now it doesn't change the visual look of your ship but it is present on the ship. And I'm just going to go ahead and just for the sake of having the space in my inventory oh I can't, I'd have to unequip it. Well, something learned. But there you go. Now I have a better ship uh, with more space and I could buy a lot more stuff and you could go ahead and sell the Barker if you really want to do it's not important to keep um, but I'm gonna hold on to it now until we have to get rid of it it's unnecessary to keep uh, anyways but we'll just hold on to it it's gonna buy the wheat can't buy as much wheat here as I could in Spain um, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we're not in our main city so I just bought some food and if we want to get sailors, you have to do it here. You can't do it in anywhere here. Normally you can do it in the taverns. You can do it at the port. That's something we're going to have to do later. I cannot forget. Otherwise, we will sail. Oops, wrong button. We will sail really slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and top off on my vigor. Talk to the adventure course instructor and take a quest. So this one shows you that I've already obtained the discovery card for this. You'll see it flashing in the corner. So I've done this quest before. So I've already this, or maybe if I haven't done the quest, I've at least done gotten the card before discovery card. So usually, this indicates you've done this quest. This one is a bonus quest. There's a request for delivering a letter for from the adventure guild to the port in Marseille. Would you like to accept this request? It's a letter detailing the situation of the area. I'll leave this to you. Okay, that one looks good. It's going to get 12,000. Not a lot, but it's a two-star, and I need to know French. And this Italian one says it's kind of the same thing. Go to Genoa. So, you know what? We're going to take them both if we can. Because they're just travel quests. I can't accept any more quests. Do I have another quest to do? Is it because it's a bonus quest? Oh, I already had a quest. And... I was supposed to do something in Seville. Man, this would help if I remembered what I said I was going to do in the last video. Well, it looks like we got to go to Seville anyways to do a quest. Ugh. Whatever. Mistakes were made, but no regrets. We have to go back that direction anyways to get to Marseille. So, <clears throat> maybe we'll turn that into this video here. It's just getting to Marseille today. Um, it's, you know just one quest and I think after this point I won't show you any more quests until I unlock the uh, actual exams and I'll hopefully record those and show them oh almost forgot need to employ sailors alright so I, I need a maximum of 34 or a minimum of 20 people would say just go with the 20 because you don't want to sp the more sailors you have the more provisions you need to put in your ship so some people would say just get the most experienced sailors and only get the bare minimum of what you need. By the way, if you heard that beep, it's because my headphones are dying. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get the minimum, but I'd like to get at least a couple more, just in case somebody jumps off, you know, ship or something. 
and there we go. So since we're sailing to, see, now look, I only have three days worth. That's seven and seven used to do for like 16 days. Now I need more, so we need to buy more provisions. Uh, not a big deal. Seven days, let's do a little bit more. 10 days, that's good enough. We're not going very far. So we're gonna auto-nav it, because I don't feel like sailing that much to Seville. And we're gonna auto-nav to Seville. And put in our regular situation there. Okay, and so here's my new ship. My little rowing ship. Again, not very fast. Probably faster than the last ship, that's all that really matters to me. Now, there are different kinds of ships. I don't know much about these kinds of ships. I know that these ships are get early on in the game. And I only took it because it has a lot of cargo. space by comparison to the Barca and I have the space that uh, I have the skills uh, or level to do it oh let's not forget I have some wheat on me so let's go ahead and convert that now I won't have any issue at all converting as much as I possibly can the real limiting factor here is how much vigor or food I need to keep consuming a little annoying but as you level you'll get more and more vigor and you'll be able to do more and more production skills while at sea or in, in cities so we're going to build this up last of it boom so this stuff gives me 40 vigor this will give me 20 so I'm just going to use that one don't need to spend that much vigor on it <laughs> alright so there you go we're already off to our first quest And early on, sailing just does take a long time, so you have to be patient. Alrighty. So I had little um, birds flying around me that were just letting me know that I have like, I guess I hit like a spot where there's a lot of fish or something you'll get different things popping up you'll get little um uh, dolphins that swim alongside you you'll get seagulls that fly around head you'll get a few boosts they're like just little boosts for your boat while you're doing them so if i really wanted to i could start fishing in that moment and probably had more success fishing it's not that big a deal they they do make a difference but not early on in the game right now so this said i needed to talk to the adventure guild guy um this quest and I don't remember if I did that last time. Port in Seville. To the port in Seville. Would you like to accept? All right, so I got to talk to the port guy again. Got to read these quests if you're not reading them. So this is the this is the real port port official, not the port guide. Boom, we unlock it. Done. Quest complete. Easy enough. Little details, gotta work them out. Alright. To port. Now we have to actually sail this one for real, so gotta be on our toes. Which, um, judging by how quickly we used our food in that situation, I'm gonna go ahead and stack up on some food and set sail. God, there's so many boats. All right. This is why I came back to the game after years of playing. These ships. Shadow Ambush Victory Heavy. All these extra skills. It's a battleship, that is for sure. Some people really like to play the battle. I'm not one of those people. Um, I'm not particularly huge into doing battle, especially early on. It's such a slow process, um, but it is doable early on if you really focused it. So, thank you to all of you who watched my videos last week. I wanted to thank you all because never had anybody subscribe as much as they had, and this has been a real, you know, 
treat of me to to have you guys do this for me. It was awesome. Uh, I really appreciate getting me the views that you have. I'm not trying to make a business out of this. I'm just really just trying to have this information shared to the people that need to know it because it is important to me that people stick around for this game that's how you learn is to work with friends or watch from videos and you can't do that if somebody doesn't offer something um, awesome you know and this is the best I can do at my skill level and I figured why not show people some of the basics if I could and that's really been nice that you guys have been supportive of it and given me tips and pointers uh, all throughout this entire situation it's been great um, and because of that I want to address some of your questions I mean I've had a few interactions with all of you during this and I want to address some of the other questions that you might had or maybe some of the things that you want me to do I had some people suggest that I show how to do this getting the Sagers with other players uh, of other nations so going from like Netherlands or England I have personally never done that before but if it's in your interest to do so and if people ask me to do it I will make another character to show you how to do that at some point um, plus it would also be cool to have a character that I could play that is from those nations uh, it would probably have a bonus too if uh, I could uh, do that you know and get some skills with the characters from another nation um, so yeah, that was one thing that somebody had asked. Um, somebody had asked me... Let's see, I'm trying to read your comments as we go here. I, I don't do very much advanced work here in the game, so like if you're really looking for someone to show you the advanced things, um, or the most efficient things, that's not what I'm here for. I'm just showing you how to really do the really simple things. That way, at the very least, you're more efficient than just sailing in circles with your time like you could waste a lot of time in this game and it's just imperative that you do at least a little bit of research and this video and these video series will help you um, hopefully do better and better and better at the game as you play so what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm doing what I call port hopping I'm port hopping to the all the ports along the way to Marseille uh, because I don't want to miss any uh, they're all along the the uh, shoreline here and if you have the GVO Navi app open you'll see these already there before you even discover them so you'll know generally where they are I know where they are off of my head because I've sailed to these places so often um, and I recognize some of the landscapes and, and uh, the some of the terrain so I recognize where we are so we just left Malaga and as we sail out of Malaga and we pass the um, peninsula here a little bit, there'll be a couple islands, and on the island is Palma, and then across from Palma there's Valencia, and another uh, spot next to Valencia is Barcelona. So I'm going to hit all these spots up. I don't have to hit them all right now, um, but I wanted to show you that this process of port hopping is good because you're going to get all these discoveries. You're going to get adventure experience. I got four adventure experience that time around. Um, so it's it's important that you do uh, do that because you won't, don't want to miss the opportunities. Now I could use some other things to help me. I can get 50 extra experience for five hours. I can get 50, 30 extra speed for one hour. This probably wouldn't have been that bad to use 30% um, extra speed. But at this point, at such a low level, I don't know how much 30% really helps. Honestly, what are you talking about in in the grand scheme of things? A 15 minute sail that you got 30% extra speed you got done in 12 minutes 3 minutes like congratulations you saved 3 minutes you might want to use that like when you're doing like races people are constantly trying to buy them so that they can race to their locations faster um, so really that's people's main goal with those is to use them for, for those races I was you know eager to hopefully get to places faster and I used them all up on my other characters way too prematurely so hold on to them hold on to all those things that give you boosts super important hey our ship handling skill went up to two or sorry surveying went up to two so that's good that means this will stay out longer as we uh, as we uh, are sailing so that's good alright so let's see are there any other comments that people wanted to address 
Somebody asked me for some Ducats in the game. Sure, you want some Ducats? Let me know. Uh, in game, look for Gonzo Rivera. If you're looking for some money, look for Chuck or Charles Thunder in game. I will gladly loan and use some Ducats. I mean, Ducats are not hard to come by, they're easy to make. And if you're looking to start off and you need some help, please do ask me. Um, it's not any skin off my nose to help you out. I would love to. Um, so, no other questions on that video. Somebody had asked me how to get into starter school. I already showed that. What else we got? Um, and mostly some just positive comments from you guys, and I really do appreciate you sharing your positive comments. Someone had said I should make another account for my tutorial, so that way I can have both tunes going at the same time, and that's true. You could do that. I have another account with another email. That's my Chuck Thunder account, not my Charles Thunder account. Um, and that one I could open up and play at the same time and like give join it up in a party and then when you're in a party you get the boosts of the other players skills sure I could do that but this is for those people out there that don't have that other tune to play with this is really beneficial to learn the ropes alone um, especially for people who don't have that ability right now but if you got a friend sure team up with them you'll level up faster you'll get help they can um, sail faster than you so you can get towed back and forth so when someone sail, sets sail to a location you can um, click on them and click follow and then they'll just automatically go as fast as they're going no matter what size or speed your ship is great little bonus awesome to have um, and you know would save a lot of time but again in this stage of the game I'm just trying to show people how to get by with the really the real simple basics here and it, it would be a long travel time and now that I'm looking at this I'm not even halfway to Marseille and you can see the time that it takes to get there so I might have to call it quits here um, to show you uh, you know otherwise you want to sit here and watch me sail in the blue for another 10 minutes but I think we'll stop it here leave in the comments just to let me know anything you'd rather me do with this series rather than showing you all my sailing time uh, I don't want to do a lot of editing because I don't have a lot of time like this was literally the first day I've had off to play the game since the last time I recorded this character um, so if you want me to do some editing maybe I can or at the very least just shorten these videos so that they cover the only the real bare basics um, that's not a problem I could do that um, and now I see why people when they do these let's plays they probably don't bother with this game doing let's plays because it is time consuming doing it really early on you're not getting anywhere <laughs> very quickly so might not be a bad idea to just show you like I said next time I get to the uh, adventure quest I will show you how to do the adventure quest with the character um, and show you how I do it without all the extra skills and stuff or what I might have to do in order to get the skills or have to finish the quest and so on and so forth so uh, I'll check in with you guys again soon. Leave comments below, leaving suggestions what I should do for the next video. Um, I will play this character more uh, between the now and the next video so that I can get to the first adventure quest exam. And, um, you know, like I said, just continue to grind these adventure quests. It takes time, and I get that. Continue to grind these adventure quests until you reach the required fame in the adventure category so that you uh, unlock the first. Uh, beginner's adventure exam. It'll say so when you before you accept it. So once I do get there, I will leave my character there to show you how to accept it, how to do it, and what option you have. Now there are several different versions of, I believe, of the beginner exam, but whatever version I get, I will show you. So long as it's one I can do, and most of them are. So thanks again, everybody, for checking in again. If uh, this let me know if your this, this video is helpful at all. If there's anything else that you want to add, or uh, anything else you'd like me to do in my future videos. Thanks again, everybody. Take it easy.